This is another episode of Versus Video Series or VS Squared. Oh yeah, this is the Warzone Stick Show. This channel is now the IT Fighting Arena. We're gonna make them fight till death so that we will know which one is better. This can be certifications, tools, technologies, and even IT instructors or IT vloggers. So, are you planning to get penetration testing or ethical hacking mid or professional level certifications? No, CEH or Certified Ethical Hacker is not a professional level certification. It's just an associate level and it's garbage. Don't ever think of getting these certifications. So, in the blue corner, we have OSCP or Offensive Security Certified Professional. And the red corner, we have eLearn Security Certified Professional Penetration Tester or ECPPT. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm the internet! Action Star! And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. As usual, we're gonna use Google search. So I will just search OSCP versus ECPPT Reddit. And we already have few results. And uh, yeah, there are already existing discussions. OSCP versus ECPPT, ECPPT versus OSCP, ECPPT versus OSCP, and uh, which one should uh, go first, OSCP or ECPPT. How about the others? Well, the others consist of other certifications such as PNPT, PWPT, uh, CPENT, what else? This one, uh, it's very old, over five years ago. So we'll just not gonna open this. We're not, uh, we don't need to check this because it's already too old. And I guess we only have for discussion. So let's check this out. So the first one here, this is really good because he compared both OSCP, ECPPT as a professional who attained both certifications. Despite this is three years ago. So this is actually a bit long. And this is not just a Reddit post. This is considered a blog already. So uh, let's check first his background. So he is already a Pentest Plus certified, and uh, in high school, he obtained the Trivecta. The Trivecta are A+, plus, Net+, plus, and Sec+, plus, or any other CompTIA uh, certifications. But the, the three that I mentioned are the most popular CompTIA Trifecta. And he also have CENT and CCNA. And he considered CEH as well, but decided against it because of the following reasons. I don't have verifiable experience in cybersecurity, so he would have to pay for the training as well. The more research he did, the more it seemed only HR likes it. And Pentest Plus is regarded as being harder, more advanced, more quality, more valuable. And uh, good chance on passing CEH later. You don't need to pass CEH. Why? Because again, CEH is garbage. You already have Pentis Plus. You already have OSCP and CPPT. So why go for CEH? Okay, forget about it. All right, so we'll just skip this. This is just an introduction. So let's move to the OSCP uh, write-up. So he said here that he got tired of preparation and just decided to go for it. I fully expected to fail the first time or two. And uh, okay, so he highlighted this. You should not be afraid to fail. In the end, no one cares about how many times you failed. People only care about the end result. And this is what I'm always telling you guys. 
any exam, especially on the CCIE. It doesn't matter how many times you fail as long as you pass. So the most important thing is you pass it, you get certified. The most important part is the end goal is to get certified. All right, so he bought the 90 days of lab time, which is the most common, the most recommended. And uh, it, this took me a month to get through reading around 30 pages a day and sometimes when I had time, so around 50. Okay, so let's skip some of these. I can summarize the exam pretty, pretty easily. I've seen it said that the entire thing was made to be doable in 12 hours, and I completely agree. So the OSCP is a hands-on lab exam, right? So 24 hours hands-on lab and 24 hours for documentation and reporting. So the tw 24 hours can be done, he said 12 hours only. So that just, it's just half. Okay, so he also stated here, this is a beginner level certification. I used to hate seeing and hearing that OSCP is not a beginner level certification. Okay, so I totally disagree. It's not a beginner level certification. And why is that? The beginner level cybersecurity certification is security plus. And that if you want to focus on penetration testing, ethical hacking, you can take Pentest Plus, which is also considered as associate level certification. So if you're going to compare Security Plus versus OSCP, the difference, the gap is so huge. So Security Plus is down here. OSCP is above. So OS, excuse me, OSCP is not a beginner level. Now, I have to cave that with the fact that I actually took me around 16 hours to root four out of five boxes. And uh, he also recommended to take the time to do lab reports. Don't be lazy like me and decided too much work for too little reward. Those five extra points would have probably saved me had my mistake cost me fast. All right, comparison. So, um, PTP, by the way, is the course material for ECPPT, and PWK is the core, excuse me, course material for OSCP. So he compared both as well. He mentioned that the PTP is focuses more on the buffer overflows. PTP does a great job at teaching you about history naming conventions. It has an entire chart with the names of registers on everything from 8-bit x86 to 64 bit x86 okay and uh, pdp focus on 32 bit windows buffer overflow i love pwk over both windows and linux 32 bit buffer overflow anyway so um here's a little comparison on the labs pwk has an open shared environment that's similar to hdb or hack the box I wanted to especially practice something I had gone over in the PDF and videos, but there's no way to know ahead of time which box covers what attack or technique. All right, um, he also highlighted this. What should I do first? Should I do PTP to prepare for OSCP? So he uh, said everything depended, excuse me, everything depends on your specific circumstances, but courses have tons of overlap. I learned a lot from having to do things manually in PWK, things that I didn't learn during PTP because you will use Metasploit a lot. All right, um, so this is actually a huge discussion or post. And uh, the last part is the most important one. He said, so I'll end with this, OSCP is your money maker. It has infinitely more value from its recognition alone. The course covers a lot of great things. I just think the exam falls a bit short. I'd actually love to see the next version. CPPT is something you do to learn. These two respective courses actually complement each other pretty well. All right, and um, he also mentioned here is OSCPT is harder. What I mean by this is it's only difficult because of the tool restrictions and the time limit. ECPPT is technically harder. So meaning ECPPT is technically harder, more advanced. So the level of skills that you will gain is better than ECPPT, at least in his point of view. And OSCP is better because it has more recognition. 
All right, um, good stuff. So he he is um suggesting to go for OSCP, um, value wise. So with all of this information, we'll not just give OSCP one point. We'll just give it maybe three points because all of these detailed information. Thank you. All right. Um. So let's check out the other comments here. So from this guy, congratulations, mate. Passing both the exams and writing an awesome review. Um. He <laughs> highlighted ECPPT is greater than OSCP. Your input is really bolstered by plan. Okay, for someone that's just using e-learn security to prepare for the OSCP, would you recommend to skip the PTS? I can't afford all three. Okay, this is just a question. Let's skip this. Congrats. When I started my first cybersecurity position, I was dead set on OSCP because recruiter told me it's the best chance. Uh, it's just telling story. Okay, um, he also said here, I really like ELS. ELS stands for e-learn security. And now I have four years experience to lean on after I get around to finishing their exploit development and malware. Yeah, it's not related to our discussion anyway. All right, congratulations. And I love this post. Not just the comparison, but also your background part. I love this post. You're articulate, honest. You clearly hit all of the things people try to say. No to CEH. See that, guys? I'm telling you, CEH is garbage. You're going to be successful with all of these approach. Congrats for those out there with less funds than 1,400 US dollars. So he's giving advice to use VHL. Okay, ECPPT sounds like it will eventually be a worthwhile certificate though. So this is three years ago. So ECPPT was, I guess, not that popular yet. Great post mate. Currently studying PTP now and then we'll aim for OSCP after. As a holder of OSCP, I say congratulations and welcome to the brotherhood. You'll find when you go on clients to do site penetration testing will be peace easy. Excellent write-up. Thank you for laying it out. You followed the same path that I currently laid for myself, almost to the letter except for ECPPT. Now that sounds like a very worthy obstacle to tackle as well. All right, you sound someone like... <laughs> How much relevant is the knowledge of scripting language? He replied, absolutely. Tried OSCP twice after routing about 35 of the boxes. I thought ECPPT exam was a kick. Finish it in about three days, working on it about four hours each day. I personally thought there was a massive jump between PWK labs boxes and exam boxes. All right, thanks for the input. I'm currently preparing studying to enroll PWK course. However, now I'm considering more to start ECPPT first and PWK afterwards. How different was PTS compared to PTP? So he just responded. Thank you for comparing. All right, the OSCP is a beginner level. Again, it's not beginner level. Security Plus is beginner level. Okay, uh, as much as I agree on the main joint PCs, uh, you know, I have to skip some of this comment because they are not really choosing which one is better than the other. Okay, it's just more of sharing their experience. So what I'm going to do is I will jump to the next discussion. All right, so the next discussion or the next post, ECPPT versus OSCP. I'm planning to go through with ECPPT before diving into OSCP. How helpful PTP might be in preparation for OSCP. So not too many comments. I've got my ECPPT and I'm currently into the PWK course. So can't compare the exam, but from everything I've seen so far, I prefer PTP 1000 times more. So he is actually suggesting ECPPT is better. The OSCP seems to have more materials as of I feel like. Uh, yeah, this is PWK. But he, he is saying that PTPT is better. All right. Uh, thanks a ton for your detailed response. What do you think of this path? Um, HTBM, which is hack the box, and then ECPPT. 
than virtual hacking logs OSCP. All right, no one responded. I have similar. Okay, so let's just skip this. Yeah, skip this. This is just a discussion. It's not really choosing one, which one is better than the other. Um, I wrote an entire comparison between the two on this sub some months ago, but yeah, so this guy is the one who posts this discussion. The idea of using ECPPT as a stepping stone for OSCP, because although that's how I used initially, ECPPT was much more realistic and relevant, and in my opinion, it's more difficult. Okay, and uh, so the guy, he agreed, maybe not a stepping stone for OSCP, but surely worth for $200 only, right? So uh, yeah, um, ECPPT is much cheaper. All right, if you really got it free for work, then just do ECPP first. Just seems to me that you are asking so much that it honestly makes me wonder if you bought the course for a shitload of money. <laughs> okay, so let's jump to the next discussion. All right, so this is eLearn Security Sub. And uh, yeah, I, we only have one comment here. So ECPPT versus OSCP, which one is better and worth it for entry-level job as administration tester? There are different certifications that challenges you in different skills. OSCP will get you into interviews easier, as I've heard. But in my humble opinion, both are great certifications and you can learn a ton by studying for them. With OSCP, you will need to know what exploit for a specific service does. And, uh, okay, so CTF methodology will not work. Furthermore, you will have to report as many vulnerabilities as you can and provide remediation for them, not just report. Okay, um, yeah, so his response is just safe. Uh, but I think he's leaning towards OSCP. He didn't actually mention ECPPT, which is a better option. Okay, yeah, uh, he is more OSCP. All right, uh, last post. This is also subreddit under eLearn Security. OSCP versus ECPPT version 2. And let's look at the response. Only few response. It depends. If you want OSCP, just go for it. Do the labs. Check out Proving Grounds. But if you want more structured learning experience, actual methodology, report writing, and something that looks more like a real pen test, go for ECPPT. So... He's pointing out that ECPPT is more realistic. It won't give you much power in terms of bypassing HR filters and LinkedIn. Uh, it's worth to hone your skills if you're not in the field yet. What would be the bare minimum to learn to pass PTP? Everything you need to pass is in the course material. Of course, PTP is the course material uh, and the exam. And then if you pass it, you get ECPPT certifications. All right, if you aren't signing up for full INE eLearn Labs, genuine question, why bother? In order to pass OSCP, you need to get hands-on keyboard experience. It's not a theoretical exam. Plus, while I believe, plus, while I believe ECPPT complements OSCP and vice versa, they are different. Value-wise, OSCP is better, it's more recognized, and it's a very popular certification, but it's more expensive. Skills upgrade-wise, ECPPT wins here. The course preparation is more advanced. Exam is more difficult and more realistic. It's also less expensive. But the winner is Offensive Security Certified Professional or OSCP.